Hey, New Life, Joel here with our weekly update. And as you can see, I am in the Christmas spirit and celebrating as we roll into this season together. I have no idea what this tree is doing behind me. It's doing its own thing, but oh well, we're just going to go with it. Let it have its fun. Um, but I want to let you know about some things that are coming up. And so this Sunday, we are wrapping up our Christmas series, Not My Christmas. And we're going to be taking a look at the life of Joseph and how Joseph had to wrestle with some serious disappointment as he was stepping into the Christmas story. And what does that mean for our lives when we're facing our own areas of disappointment? And God's telling a story, so how do we step into that? It's going to be a great time as we wrap up this Christmas series, so I want to invite you to join us online at 10 a.m. for that. And, and then as we go into next week, we are going to be having our Christmas Eve service outdoors in our parking lot. So it's going to be at 5 p.m. on the 24th. So I want to share some information that you're going to need to know so you can come ready to experience that and, and celebrate Christmas Eve with us. First of all, we're in this new season of regional health order, regional um, shelter-in-place health orders. So there's some limitations on what we can do. Now, for us as a church, we are still allowed to meet as long as we're doing it under the guidelines and doing it correctly. And so that means that when we show up, we need to practice physical distancing and we need to be wearing face masks for the entire event. And so that's what we're going to do. And so I want to make sure that you can come prepared and ready so we can enjoy this time together as a church family and a community. And so when you show up, a few things you need to know. One, we're going to start at 5 p.m. as closely to that time as we can. So come early. We have to designate an area of the parking lot where we're going to be seated. So that means parking will be somewhat limited. So you want to come so you can find a parking spot in our parking lot or maybe even out on Rand if you need to park out there and have time to come in. And you'll need to bring your chair with you so you can set up your chair in the area where you or your family will be seated together. You'll need to bring a face mask and wear it the entire time so that we can be safe together in that space. And then we're going to be celebrating with some music and we're still going to have some carols and a time together. We're going to have LED candles that we will safely distribute to you when you get there so that when it's time to have that candle lighting moment, we'll be able to do it together as a church. Now, some of you might be wondering, can I come and just stay in my car? And we are going to have some designated parking that's specific for people who have COVID-related health issues. So if you just want to stay in your car to take it in, but that's not the category you're in, we're asking that you not take those parking spots, but leave them for those who have legitimate reasons and need to stay in their car. And there's going to be a row of, of parking where people can pull in if they need to. Windows can be cracked to take in the, the music and the, the message and the thing that we'll be doing together. And so we want to make sure that you're aware that that option is available to you if you'd like to come out. So it's going to be a great time together. We want to invite you to come out. We're going to do it safely. We're going to celebrate the hope that we have of Christmas as a church as we continue to navigate the reality of COVID together through the Christmas season. So that's it. There's more information about different things that are going on that's in this email, but I just want to make sure you had that basic information. And we'd love to see you online and here on our campus in our parking lot on the 24th. All right. Have a great day. Merry Christmas.